Hey, what's up everyone, it's FN Guy here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Ordnance feature in uh, Halo 4. Uh, if you're up to date and uh, you're subscribed to the Halo Waypoint, Waypoint YouTube channel, you'll know that today, or yesterday, I think I may, might be a, a couple of hours out, uh, they released three new videos of the online uh, gameplay, cooperative and competitive. So, uh, and there's heaps of stuff you can, uh, heaps of stuff that they've uh, sort of hidden in amongst the the gameplay. They haven't just thrown anything in. It's, they've, it's, they've, I'm saying they've been really selective about what they put in. Um, and I think the ordinance can be kind of explained now of how it works. So let me just take you through that. Um, also, I'm not saying this is 100% true. Uh, I mean, it's true as far as I'm as far as I know, but I'm not saying it's right. I'm just I'm just speculating at the moment. Um, so let me just take you through what I think. Um, basically, Ordnance is uh, going to be the, the, one of the new features, one of the key features in uh, multiplayer and uh, competitive multiplayer, and probably uh, co-op as well. I'm not quite sure yet, but um, as you can see, it, it sort of works like kill streaks would in Call of Duty. And you know, before you say, "Oh, this is just a copy of Call of Duty," um, you know, it's it's really not. So, but, so let me just take you through it. So you can see this is the Ordnance meter here, and he's got it about let's just say three quarters full at the moment and he's about to kill this guy in the ghost and watch what happens to this little bar here after he kills the guy riding in the ghost so you can see he's shooting, he's shooting he kills him and then bam after he kills that guy the ordnance meter goes up into full circle and you can see if I just do really carefully here an ordnance ready ribbon uh, not really a ribbon just, just a bar appears across the screen and then it cuts into a different game where uh, this guy has actually got his ordnance just ready just then and once you get your ordnance ready you get three options by the looks of it so he's got um, the scatter shot which is the forerunner shotgun equivalent the uh, down here he's got the needler and over here he's got uh, an, uh, it's not known at the moment well I don't know what sort of armor perk it is I'm guessing it's the shield perk uh, if you've seen the other videos you'll know what I'm talking about where the player uh, a sh they get like an energy shield in front of them and they can walk around with it um, similar to what a jackal does except a little a little cooler but, um, so it doesn't look like ordnance can be just weapons uh, it can also be armor perks and stuff like that so you see you've got three options and I'd say you just use the d-pad to select which one you want so in this case he selects the scatter shot and so once he selects the scatter shot you'll see a little a marker um, spawn here and then the ordnance will fly down cause a, a pretty big explosion and then pop open as you can see there it pops open and there's the scatter shot inside it there and uh, so once he picks up the scatter shot he pretty much he's pretty much set so that's how the ordnance will work so what we know now is that the ordnance bar is filled by killing uh, characters and once you get ordnance you have three options not only weapons but also armor perks and once you select your ordnance, you also, uh, whether or not it drops down randomly or it drops down uh, close to you on purpose is, uh, I'm not sure, maybe this guy just got lucky, but I'd say that by the looks of things, ordnance is going to drop close to you um, in specific spots. And so yeah, I think it, I think it's going to be a really cool feature in the map. It's a, uh, um, like I said, it's, it's you, you only get it by kills. Uh, or whether or not you get it by kills, or whether 10, 10 points for an assist will count towards this, I'm not sure yet, whether it's points or just actual kills, but at the moment it just looks like it's kills. And uh, yeah, as I said before, I think it's going to be a really a, a really cool feature, and it's going to be a, 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 a real key element in uh, the gameplay, the multiplayer gameplay. Um, so yeah, that's it. And uh, um, you can see the Covenant Carbine here, I don't know if anyone else is excited is as excited as I am for the Covenant Carbine. I love I love that gun. <laughs> but um yeah, so that that's pretty much my take on it all. Um so uh and yeah I'm pretty much done. So like it if you liked it and favorite and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll definitely be doing more of this kind of stuff. Uh I do gameplay videos as well. Um you know I've only just started off my channel but I'm you know I'm really hitting it hard and trying to get some stuff up there. So if you want to check that out, uh you're more than welcome. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, also, I, sh I should just say, I know how, um, excuse me, how hostile uh, com uh, c people can get when you're explaining f about new features on a game. And you know, I'm just gonna say right now, I'm 
it just you know it looks pretty obvious to me right uh, right now what's happening with the ordnance feature how it's generated by kills and whatnot but uh you know i might I, I might still be wrong I'm, i might just be a you know a bit of a fool sort of thing jumping into it uh, but it's just my opinion and you know uh you know, I, I guess trolls are going to troll regardless, or haters are going to hate, sort of thing. But yeah, um, it's just my opinion. So at the end of the day, uh, if you disagree with it, don't take it, you know, the wrong way or anything. I'm just uh, expressing what I think. But yeah, so uh, that aside, th thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I look look forward to seeing you again real soon. Bye.